Thank you. Thank you. My name is Derek from New Hampshire Paranormal Afterlife. Thanks for having us come out. This is Eddie. This is Junior. We're here to help you out. So let's see what you got. Awesome. Alright. AJ, thanks for having us come out. You gave me a call to come out here and check out your your, your game place. So um, tell me what's going on. Well, we've, uh, it's been going on for about four years now. We've had lights out back, big flashes of lights. There's no windows out there or anything. So um, that's the first concern of mine. I'm not too sure what's going on back there. I can't catch it with my eyes, only on camera. So uh, that's good. Now, you told me when we came out the first time to talk to you about coming out, you yeah. said you caught some orbs on the camera at night. Now, was that out here or in the back there? That was coming from out back. So about six different cameras. There are no windows out back there at all. So there's nothing no. that could draw that type. Okay, well I see that there are windows way up here. But okay. that's yeah, you're gonna get headlights, but they're probably not even gonna illuminate past the shelving over there. Right. So right. that's and kind it's of all covered. Yeah, it's covered. I noticed that it's covered back there. So uh, why don't you uh, show me the areas where it's most hot and we'll go from there. Okay. So this is the back room. Yeah. Alright. Now we get a uneasy feeling back here, everybody does, and this is the room that nobody likes to be in, and uh, everyone's kind of afraid of it, okay, and not sure why. And now you said, now your wife told me that you can hear like a hello sound, sometimes there's a voice of a hello. Yep, back here it used to be a magic shop. There used to be chairs, tables set up back here. You could hear chairs moving yep. when there's nobody back here. Um, the, like I said, the lights and the orbs back here. A lot of orbs, a lot of lights appearing out of nowhere. Now when the chairs are dragging, they're not moving? They, I don't have that on video. Uh, I'm not too sure. I just hear, we just hear them moving uh, several employees. Some have left because of it. So now you told me when we were here last time that you don't work alone anymore. Yeah. Now, is there a reason for that? I just, for me, it's the stories, and you know, I've seen things on the security cameras that can't be explained. So I genuinely get freaked out about that stuff. So uh, I don't know enough about it. You don't know enough about. It. Well, that's right. why I'm here tonight. Yeah. I'm here to put you at ease. I'm here to make you feel comfortable at your shop. Right. Not that you're gonna not work alone anymore, but. I want to make you feel comfortable in your own place of business, and that way you can tell your employees that there's nothing that's going to be here to harm you. Excellent. So, let's see what we can do and get to the bottom of this for you. Definitely. Thank you, AJ, for so having much. us come out tonight. Anybody want to talk to us? Did you knock on something? Yeah, can you knock like this for me?
everybody here with us. I'm Eric. This is Dwayne. I got a K2. It's got a light on it. Come over here and light it up for us. Kind of like a game. Want to tell us anything? No, we won't hurt you. temperature back to 64. Thank you for bringing that back down. Can you drop it even lower, maybe down to 62? Oh. We're at 63. Bring it just a little lower, down to 62. Come on. 60, oh, 62.8, 62.7, 62 62.6. Can you bring it to 61? Come on, one more. 61.8. Thank you very much.
even got in here, I heard someone knocking on this bookcase. <coughs> if you're out there, we'd love to communicate with you. You can come and talk into this uh, DVR right here, right at the red light. You can talk to us. There's an outlet. Sixty-four. Bring me to sixty-four. One more time. You can do it. Sixty-four for me. Thank you. Wow. Wow, dude. Thank you very much. Wow. Now you can go back up. us to come in there and talk to you, give us 63. If you want us to leave you alone, go to 65. No, it's doing what I asked. It's going back up. That's a mate. Yeah, it's going back up. Wow. This room got dramatic. Look at it. It's all 64 degrees in here. And five minutes ago, it was 75 degrees. It, it's a 10 degree drop, you know? That is insane. I've never seen that. that. This room got extremely cold. It's 64 degrees. 63. I just got those comps. See? 63 degrees. everywhere. See? Full scan. What the, the hell is was that? that? Oh, I'm 
freezing right now. Dude, that is amazing. Yeah, I got the chills. It dropped 10 degrees in there. What, did it scare you guys? It's 74. Look at it, 63, look at it. Right here. I'm, I'm, I'm freezing right now. I'm getting a colder keep drift right next to you. Keep going, keep it recording, keep it recording. Is there anybody here? My name is Eric. Is there something you want to tell us? Come on, you're able to move this table. I'm literally shivering right now. You're able to move this table. Don't be afraid of me. I won't hurt you. Is that one in the bathroom? Yeah, there's two. Open the doors and see if there's anything in there. Is this door... Who closed this door? I didn't close it. No, it wasn't. I went to the bathroom. I left it open. You said that's been sitting there for months, correct? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you come over here, please? Back that way. Is there anybody in here? Come on. You're able to make that move. I am in the bathroom, in the back room of I'm freezing. the store. And it is extremely cold in here right now. I got it, dude. I got it. Um, in the back room. It is 63 degrees in here. 60. 60. Getting the chills right here. Yeah, I'm freezing. 62, 60. Yeah, this is cold. Can you grab the other bathroom? I got it. Keep going, keep going. 59 degrees in here. This is the door that was closed. And I was in here to go to the bathroom and it was hot in here. 62 degrees in here. 60, 59. Is there anybody in here? Come on, you were able to make that table move. I mean, that's a lot of force. And you shut this door right here. Because we left this door open. Dude, that was loud. I'm Just still cold. crap out of me. I was not expecting that to happen. Becky's going to be so mad. She wasn't Shit. in here to see this. No. So you can make it go all the way up to red. It'd be nice to see that. Is there something you want to tell us? The reason that you're here?
disturbance here. Which can make people feel like a lot easier or it can just mess with the object. Up on the pipes as well. Just that pipe. That's the one that runs through the pickle box. So that could explain why people feel a lot easy. Or it could also be allowing a spirit to manifest. So we can't figure out which one it is. Is there anybody in this back room that wants to talk to us?
wasn't the only one that heard it. Wait, did Screechy lose his or not that's a different No, that was a that was like a rawr, Yeah, that was, that was like a that was like a growl rawl sound. That was that was amazing. I hope we got that on DVD. stuff that even the owners have never heard before. We do appreciate everything you've done to try to communicate with us tonight. We will be wrapping up soon, so if there's anything else you want to do or say, anything you want to communicate to us, I was talking and I did this. Yeah, the room's 72 degrees again. Note that, Brian. 72.3. I got it. 69.3. It dropped down to almost, almost 59 degrees in here. And I, that's all I did. I got it cold in here fast. Like somebody just opened the door and let all the cold air, and it's, it's summertime. And it's not cold outside, so that's not even a draft or anything. Is there anybody here with us? Becky has a K2 meter over there. If you can make that light up for us. And that spiked for me, too, earlier. Oh. Oh, yeah, sitting right here. It spiked all the way to red. Something you want to say? Anybody here with us? Come on, you were here a few minutes ago. You were showing us your energy.
Sixty-six. Come on, bring that down to fifty-five. Sixty-five for me. Bring it down. Bring it down. Come on. Sixty-seven. Sixty-six. Come on. Sixty-five, please. You're almost there. Come on. Almost there. Sixty-five. Almost there. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Come on, you're almost there. Come on, one more. One more. Come on, one more. There we go. Thank you. Thank you very much. stuff being in here bother you? Was this your room? things I'm going to show you is not to concern you. If you feel uneasy at any time, you just let me know, and we'll go from there. I've got two videos I want to show you, and hopefully I can get your opinion on them. I got one of the claims your wife was talking about, and that's one of them I want you to hear. saying stay where you are. So, I mean... So, whatever was going on here, whatever was going on here during our investigation when we were talking about it, something was telling us it's female voice, stay where you are. 
So we don't know what it was trying to tell us or what it was trying to tell us to do, but it's telling us to stay where you are. Next piece, female's voice. And again, it's somewhere in here where you hear where someone's talking and then you hear her say something. Basically, this is after the table incident, when the table had fallen, and we don't know why. And we're, me and Travis are in there finishing up the investigation to see what was in there. And the room was cold, cold at that time. And I had said something, and we get a female voice that says, next door. So I'm going to highlight it for you. And it's telling us it's next door. So, again... Travis, now this is before the table incident. We're getting ready to set up. I'm telling Travis, I'm going to sit here and sit here. My tech crew is saying, no, you guys should sit here and here. So when Travis says, okay, and I say, okay, I'm going to sit here, this is what we get. Now, that's evil sounding, don't know what it is. somewhere in here. <laughs> so that's one of the claims that your wife gave me. So there again, we caught something you guys told us that was heard here in the building. So therefore, we got one of your claims. So, whatever it is, it's trying to reach out to you guys. It's not, it doesn't sound harmful. Um, if it bothers you, you let me know. You'll hear it over here. Junior says something here, and then you hear it here. Okay. So, I'll play it again over here. you hear him say DVDs. That was at the end. Of, that was three minutes left to a record time before we all shut down. Right. So again, as me and my crew went through all the videos and everything to come out here to help you guys do the investigation and stuff like that. So there's some intelligent. Nothing's gonna hurt you. There's some things on here that sound like they're spooky. But you own this place. You run this place every night, every day. You let them know you're here. And if you ever have any other issues or anything like that, we would like to come out and do another investigation sometime soon. Um, Anytime. Some, sometimes you get things and sometimes you don't, but we were here the first night we got stuff. Um, the video I'm going to show you, five minutes, 18 seconds into it, it did it again. It's, it happened so fast. Thank you. It was nice coming out here. You have a nice place.